There was a time when I was in senior high school that I had to walk up to 10 miles just to get home. It was unnecessary, but sometimes my dear siblings forgot about me, and so I had to walk all the way home. I could have taken the bus, right? But then I would not have had enough lunch money for the week. Between having to starve and having blister my food, I chose the latter. If this happened now, certainly it would be an entirely different story. Now I just need to open my phone, press a few clicks to get home. I don't even need to pay in cash. I just need to ensure that my phone is loaded with battery and internet data and I can practically get a ride home or food for lunch or anything I'd ever need. Well, that's a bit of a shooting, but hey, you know Gojek already. Anyway, a little disclaimer, this is not an endorsement. I am not paid by the company and I'm not really gushing about the company. I'm talking about the founder, Nadim Anwar Makarim. The former CEO of Gojek, now the Minister of Education and Culture in Indonesia. So, let's get started. Nadim went to Brown University and Harvard Business School. Sounds cool, right? He was with McKinsey and Co for three years before he single-handedly kickstarted what would become the country's definition of startup company. It began with mutual concerns that he shared with fellow commuters in the bustling city of Jakarta. The issue of transportation was the clean that started the fire. Yes, it was simply because Nadim found out that Ojek or ride service drivers spend most of their time waiting for customers while the customers spend most of their time walking around to find available Ojek. And then we had it, Gojek, a solution to those two corresponding issues. No, it didn't start out this big. At first, it was Gobi's call center. It was less effective because customer had to make a phone call first and then the customer service agent would contact the driver and only then the right service could be procured. Needless to say, it was not easy. It was not effective. People laughed at it first. Even worse, Nadim was in debt trying to fund his dream. Imagine the pressure of trying to realize a dream that nobody believes. But not long after that, Gojek started to win the hearts of all Indonesians. People started to know why this service is relevant and efficient. Gojek then introduced GoPay and numerous other services. Contrary to how it started, Gojek now is a solution we never knew we needed. It was not always rainbows and butterflies though. There was a clash with taxi smuggles, there was an employee strike, there was even a regulation barrier. Some people seemed to be hating the good progress while in fact, they were just afraid that it would impact their interests. But Nadim didn't stop. And now, Gojek operates in multiple countries and it has become the first unicorn and decacorn company in Indonesia with a valuation over 10 billion US dollars. Not to mention, Nadim got to be offered a role in the current cabinet as Minister of Education and Culture. Nadim Makarim, with all his achievements, leads me to one question. How does he achieve that at such a young age? To get to know him better, I started my research hoping that I would find the answer. I watched many of his interviews to understand his point of view, read his biography and news about him, and yes, the answer started to unfold. While I was doing my research, I have found that Nadim has a really strong growth mindset. 
In one of his interviews, Nadim has shared one of the principles that kept him going is being fearless to experiment with new things, willing to fail and learning from those failures. This is one of the characteristics of people who have obtained growth mindset. I also found that Nadim is not a kind of person who gets intimidated by other people's success. In fact, Nadim stated that he gets inspired by successful people around him and learns from them. During his time as a founder and CEO of a multi-billion company, Nadim often converses with drivers of Gojek to ask for their inputs and critics. This shows that he is open to criticism in order to be better and create new innovation. Nine years as a founder and CEO of Gojek, Nadim is proven to be very persistent even when facing obstacles. And those characteristics explain a lot why I chose him to be a figure of a growth mindset. Nadim Makarim and a has inspired me and I wish this story has inspired you as well. There are a lot of impressive characteristics that we can learn from him and one of them being the growth mindset that leads him to be the founder and CEO of Gojek, now Minister of Education. I know that not all of us might want to walk down the path and aspire to be a minister. Some of us will eventually stray away from being an educator. However, I believe that whatever path we end up taking, we should dare to dream like Nadim. We can be the next agent of change. As a future leader, it is essential to obtain a growth mindset. And I believe mindset is malleable. Hence, to shape my mindset as a growth mindset, I will embrace challenges ahead of me. Seize every opportunity, be ready to fail and learn from it, and also be very persistent in everything that I do. Thank you.